happy Sunday. I thought I'd jump on for a little bonus reading for you babies, all of you that supported uh, my local Chevrolet football team, my local lamb chop. But today we went on our um, second game of this year's season, which is the second season so far for the lads playing as a team. We didn't win, did we? We got a little bit beat, didn't we? What was it? What was the score? Uh, it was so. Four, it was well more than four. It was. It was. It was, it about, was five or four. It was about six. It was five. Anywho. If it's not four, it's five. Right. Well, we'll agree to disagree. I'll find out in a minute off your cultures. But guess what he got? Tell what he got. A trophy. What is it? Tell him. Player of the match. Player of the match. Yep. Right, let's show up. Look what he got. It's to be returned next week, of course, but he gets to absolutely let bask in his own brilliance this week with his trophy for being a little superstar, aren't you? Yeah. He didn't score this week, but you nearly did so many times, didn't you? Mm. And he was a little um, Speedy Gonzalez, aren't you? Running, running, running everywhere. So he got some man, well, player of the match. So yay to him. Um, right, say bye to everyone. Say bye. Thank you. I'm gonna get all the boys to do you a video anyway of the, all the gear that you've actually contributed towards. That's to come. Um, but say bye for now, broads. Bye. So he's chuffed with his little self. Bless him. We got trainer of the week this week on Monday, and then player of the match on Sunday. So his effort is going really noticed. So I love that. Um, I love all you guys that contributed towards the boys because it's been a miserable morning. Um. So the coaches, because we managed to raise, as a community, guys, £400. So I cannot thank you all enough, genuinely. So overwhelmed at yours, like, and so is the team, and so are the parents. So we all send a massive, massive thank you. I will be getting a video uploaded when the guys have got their stuff that you have absolutely contributed to. They're going to be completely kitted out, because obviously all the other parents are raising as well. So they're going to have all the jackets, all matching team jackets, Adidas ones. So they're going to all be nice and, you know, Good stuff uh, with their initials on so they all know who's is who's where they're going to have matching water bottles and the coaches are getting one as well which is important you know because they're just as needed as the boys are so the coaches are getting theirs too matching and they're getting the water bottles and then they're going to get hats and they're getting you know little fleeces for when it's not that bad um so they're going to be so kitted out for the winter and i can't thank you all enough genuinely so here is a little bonus reading for you guys um i'm already seeing some kind of, let me just get my words right. Someone has got into a situation, some kind of, some of you, it's a relationship. Whether this is you or someone that you're dealing with, take it as it resonates, flip it as you need to. This message is for anyone that is feeling drawn um, to the title, but I have focused and meditated on my angels that are so supportive. So, this may be your message, it may not be. But someone's got in a relationship or some kind of contract or deal, commitment, partnership, and it's like instant regret. Maybe not instant regret, but now there's regret. Someone's like, maybe found something out about who they've made that deal with, that contract, or who they're seeing in a commitment with. Maybe some of you have moved home or someone's decided to move in with another and now it's like, ugh. Someone is like, what have I done? So, let's jump in. <laughs> I'm telling you. Right. Some of you, it's because of arguments. You've got a lot of people gossiping about you as well. Um, show me what my collective needs to see. My supporters, my followers, my babies, my subscribers, all of you that contributed with thoughts and donations to my little lamb job. What do you all need to see? I'm just going to refer to you as the collective from now because <laughs> some of you may not be a Taurus. So I'm not going to put it all just, you know, on you Taurus babies. So come on in. This mess you're going to get a message. You're going to find out from someone. Or you're going to get, um, you're going to get told. That's so Listen, those of you that it's the relationship thing, it's the anxiety. Someone's like got anxiety. You know, I'm feeling like it's the ick. Someone's seen something or found something out about someone that, they, that they're dealing with and they're like, ew. Those of you that it's relatively new, it's like the ick. Those of you, it's a bit deeper, and so the ick's deep, but it's bigger than an ick. It's like, it's like, oh fuck, never mind an ick. 
Yeah, change, movement, new beginnings, transition, flexibility, transformation, woman. So this is, however this goes, no gender, male or female, someone's now very hesitant about a move that they made. Like gone towards a new beginning and it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's like a backtrack. Some of you, someone is just dead selfish when it comes to money. You know, like not there's no reciprocation. There's especially those of you that moved in with someone. You're like house sharing or I don't know. There's something. Show me what my collective needs to say. Okay, we've got the moon card thirty two. Praise, feeling, emotion, imagination, intuition, inspiration, and then the house, home, family, warmth, security, privacy, comfort, and then the sun. Success, victory, happiness, truth, warmth, positive outcome. I feel like someone's found something out. Something that someone's tried to keep very private, tried to keep a big secret. That's a lot of secretive shit, yeah? But then the sun's brought it out. So someone's tried to keep something hidden from someone and someone's found it out. Or it's going to happen. If this hasn't happened already, it's on its way. Current energy, timing is fluid, past is a minute gone prior, future is in a minute and beyond. Someone's tried to keep something very secretive, very private, very hidden. It could absolutely be feelings. But again, this is going to go one or two ways. Like, someone's just keeping the mouth shut. And, <laughs> like, when there's, like, regret or something in the, in the mix. But I feel like the truth's going to come out. So someone's feelings are going to be exposed here. Could be a member of your family. Yeah, look, there's a mystery. There's a secret of some sort with a book. There's there's a lot of light reflecting today, isn't there? The light and shit. Um, but there's a mystery that you're gonna find out about. There's some kind of secret that's not gonna be a secret no more. Mm. Let's carry on. So something's gonna be exposed. Yeah, look, and they know it. Someone's kind of like someone don't want something to be exposed. That the feelings, it's the feelings, but or something to do with emotion or the intuition trapped look i see this in the pre-shuffle someone's keeping their mouth shut for the for whatever sake whether this is you or someone you're dealing with someone is just keeping their mouth shut but it's getting difficult and more difficult and more difficult to do or they know that you know some of you it's involving a lot more people than one like it's like entering in, maybe it's a work situation. It's like entering into a contract or some kind of so, something and it's like, ooh, now I don't want to be in it because of whoever they are or maybe someone acts different when they're in front of other, other people. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I hope it's making sense for somebody. Thief. Someone's not who they say they are. Someone's not been being honest. Someone's, could be about money. Someone could have stolen money. Oh, it's like, you know, someone's not, oh yeah, occupation, someone could be trying to affect your work life, your stability, and that's what this, maybe that's what a lot of you keeping, this is like going to boil down to basically, as general as, to keep it as general as I possibly can, someone's trying to just keep, you shut up and put up for the sake of stability, money probably, finances, someone don't want to rock the boat, when they know. The boat is just, it's already been pierced by whoever they're dealing with. It's like, oh, right. It's like someone's got themselves into a situation and they found out the situation that they've got themselves into is not what it seemed, not what it claimed to have been. And now it's like, fuck, how do I get out of it? Right. How do I get out of this? Show me messages for my collective. Okay, we've got court house, card 32. Sorry, yeah, 23, sorry, not 32. Um, but still a five, which is change. There's some kind of big change that someone's made and now, now it's like settled in. Some of you, maybe this is like working from home or it's where you've moved or... Yeah, look, here are all these people. Who are all these people? And we've got a mature man. So.
something can't be hidden anymore. Something can't be... It's like someone is honestly, it's like, if this is you, it's like, not an out-of-body experience, but you know, like where you're just taking yourself out of a situation and looking in it out from out an outward perspective. It's like literally taking yourself out of a situation and looking at it from an outsider's perspective. And what they see is they don't like it. Could be this mature man, but it's about these people. It's like someone's realising who all these people are, what they've kind of got themselves into, the fact that they keeping his mouth shut over something. There's a lot of... Mm, I don't get it. Someone's trying to steal your abundance or your success. It's not going to work, though. It's going to backfire massively, actually. I don't know if this is even making sense with you guys. <sighs> Show me some more. I could be dealing with a Leo. Show me what this is all about. It's like someone's looking at a lot of people. Honestly, it's like... Ew. <laughs> you know, like... Just not my people. Something like that. A soulmate showing up as well. Oh, you're manifesting a soulmate. You guys, they're on their way. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Love is coming. Those of you that are single, especially. This could be the same situation or different energy. Take it as it resonates. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. So for some of you, this is family. This is absolutely family. And it's like someone's realising that their relationships go the way that they go. Or the relationships that they have with people are because of their upbringing. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. Someone's realising that them people, that group of people there are not of a high vibration. And it's like they're realising that it affects them people, affect them and their relationships. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Take it as it resonates. If this is you, it's like, shit, my family are uh, toxic as fuck and it dilutes into my relationships. Like, it's just one of them. Take that, you know, I'm not saying for a second that this is any of your story, but I'm just using it as, as an example. And I'm not saying this is my story either, but it's like, you know, like when a child's brought up with an abusive parent, you know, say a, a boy, a little boy grows up watching his dad abuse his mum. He's probably going to do the same when he gets bigger. Do you know what I mean? Generational curses, basically. Show me that's for Taurus. No. Or any sign. My collective. All of those of you that have supported my local lamb chat. In thoughts and abundance, okay? Thoughts are just as powerful, my darling, so I appreciate that just as much. Right, we've got an axe. Someone's stopping the pattern. Someone's breaking a generational curse. Like, yeah. Abundance. Keep you want. Yeah. Give me some more. Yeah, look, well, someone's realising that these people are outdated. Someone's grew past whoever these people are. It could be a work setting. I'm getting more family than anything. It could be friends or whatever. Or even where you live. Like, someone, it's outgrown. Someone's outgrown it. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. For the majority of you, yeah, whether this is you or someone else, it is showing up as a divine masculine, but that's no gender, male or female. But if someone, this divine masculine has found something out about either one or several people. It's like one person within a group. Or they found out about several people. And it's not the toxic. It's not the uh, outdated. Someone's outgrew these people. You have manifested this. They've manifested this. Take it to resonate. There could be a separation going on. Absolutely. It's like I've said at the beginning. Someone is seeing what they have got themselves into. And it's like, oh, fuck. Get me out. Yeah, someone has been wearing a mask. Just trying to... It's like gaslighting themselves. It's creating a, a, their own reality. 
that's borderline making them a bit miserable. It's to move forward, yeah. But, you know, it's it's not working. Someone, maybe that's what it is. Someone's not been able to move on from you or something. Or someone can't move on from something. Hmm. It's like deluded themselves. Think about these people. Or them people have gaslighted that divine masculine, whichever way it goes. Let's um. But however, whichever way it goes, it's like the divine masculine's waking up. Whoever it, whoever that is, male or female, They're waking up to whoever them people are. That are just not serving them anymore. Basically, the King of Cups, Big Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. This is about emotions, you know. Someone's kept hidden their feelings, their emotions, in whatever way. And it's just so they can do the right thing. It's to please other people. And, you know, I'll be dead straight up here. Yeah, that is that is such a divine... That's such a male thing to do. You know, a divine masculine in a man will so shut the mouth and keep their feelings hidden for the sake of other people, family especially. Especially. But... Show me what my collective needs to see. Bonus reading. Oh, there's two kings. Oh, we've seen that yesterday, didn't we? In the Taurus reading. Someone's dealing with two people. Oh, are you going to be? Are you wondering if someone's... That's why it is. I'm wondering if someone's, someone is who they say they are. New beginnings. Three of swords. Yeah, listen. Someone's fucked up. <laughs> Someone like that. The fuel and the three of stars. Someone's gone towards a new beginning or done something maybe out of impulse. And now it's like, oh, fuck. There is a big old fuck. Yeah, the eight of cups and the page of wands. I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh, shouldn't have done that. Two of wands. Show me what my collective needs to say. Because my battery's going to die, I'm just going to get you a um, three card spread. But I'll be back tomorrow. The chariot come dealing with the cancer. This is so about someone's movement that they made. Someone thought they was being clever. Someone was following someone else's direction, advice. Big fuck up. The Queen of Wands. I feel like someone's it's like there's more than there's a lot of people here, and it's like someone wants to come and stand. In the middle and put the foot down and make a decision with that two of wands. Could have someone could have fire in the chart with the queen of wands. The five of pentacles, the seven of wands, ten of wands. There's like an energy of someone gives someone an ultimatum, especially if this is family, it's like Someone gives someone an ultimatum and whenever they went to, they regret it. The decision that they went, the advice that they followed, there's major fucking regret. Major. That's clarify. A lot of you are keeping your successes to yourself at this time. You're looking outstanding and you're just keeping all of your howls on your eyes and your reasons as to how you look so outstanding energetically and appearance wise you're keeping it all quite mysterious and you've got a lot of people confused about you in some kind of way also it's about your intuition I mean, maybe those of you that are quite intuitive and you're trying to explore that you've got family or people around you that don't agree. They're not on your state. They're not on your level. Could be a situation like that. You're getting bad advice. It's some of you. It's just down to jealousy. To be honest, it's like the the want to control, but show me this two of ones, please, for my collective. The two of pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and Judgment. So you're going to be in a position to have to decide on something very soon. Someone is. Whoever's gone, you know, whoever's wanting to backtrack, it's decision time. Big decision time, to be honest, with the Ace of Pentacles and Judgment. The King of Wands, the world. Divine masculine energy. He's got to, like, stand up for themselves. 
male or female, someone's got to stand up for themselves and make a change about a change that they've already made. Backtracking on a change kind of thing or decision. Backtracking on a decision, but it's going to create major change in some kind of way. Judgment. It's judgment time. It's like someone's been planning it though as well, being strategic. So this hiding the feelings and the emotions has been going on for quite a bit. It's planning the way out, planning the way to get up, you know, planning their way away from that group of people. Show me this chariot. Whoa. The King of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Four of Wands. I'm telling you now, the Six of Wands. Someone thought something was going to be fucking brilliant and it's not. It's quite the opposite, in fact. For a certain period of time, he's been putting on a brave face. Again, shutting up and putting up. Dealing with whoever and all of whatever that is that they felt like they've had to deal with because they put themselves in that position. It's like someone has not acknowledged their own wants, needs, desires, passions. Especially when it comes to relationships as well. Someone doesn't want to be with someone. They just don't. And it's highly likely a divine masculine is in a position where they're like, I don't want to be with, they don't want to be with who they live right now. Whether this is you or someone that you're dealing with, flip it all as you need to. Some of you, it's because they're in love with someone else. Like with that Queen of Cups, they want to be with someone else. Yeah, those of you that this is a relationship, yeah, male or female, because um, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us, okay? So even a woman right now can be in a position where she's got into she's got into a relationship with someone, met the family, moved in with that person, met the family, and now they're like, fuck, what have I got myself into? And they've also maybe met someone else. And they're like, shit, well, I picked wrong. Or oh, someone picked wrong. <gasps> so maybe for some of you, this was already a situation where someone had the choice and they chose wrong. Whether this is you or someone else. Yep. Show me this queen of wands, please. Some of you, someone chose the third party because that's what the Queen of Wands is sometimes. Yeah, look, the Eight of Cups, the Fool. Someone thought they were clever, the Four of Pentacles, and now they've kept their mouth shut on how they are fucking not. And probably a little bit... Better he died anyway. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, so, whatever I was just saying then. But basically, I'll just start from this last little bit. Queen of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Fool, and the Four of Pentacles. So basically, it's like someone's left a situation that they had a lot of emotions for. It's like it, someone chose wrong. Someone walked away from a situation that they had quite a lot of emotions for, feelings for. They walked, they made a foolish choice. They took a risk. Probably got warned against it. But they did it. And now they're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Nervous, a little bit nervous of speaking out as well. Um... If that even at all focused. But yeah, someone went towards a new beginning and now they're completely out. They've not said now though. Not yet. No, they're just dreaming about something. A lot of you, it's... A lot of you, this is a relationship. A lot of you, this is someone that's left someone for someone else and now they completely fucking regret it, basically. Especially those of you that someone left... Um, Well, it'll be different for all of y'all because some of you, someone left to go back to a relationship, a commitment. And for some of you, it was just someone decided to commit to someone else over you or something like that. Or you did. Or you're in the position where you had to choose and you chose wrong. It's like you found something out recently about this person or the people that they deal with or the family or something like that. Or if this isn't about choosing two different people romantically, it's like someone still walks away from something that they cared a lot about and it was for the sake of... Others somewhere. Or it was just a lot of people. A lot of people was giving someone dog shit advice. Either way, someone regrets what they've done. It's like they've not said now, though. Not yet. Yeah, someone thought there was something better. Show me some messages for my collective. Hmm. Someone was um so fucking ignorant. To be honest. They did. Someone thought that there would be something better, ignorantly. So, whoever that is, yeah. Could be an Aries. Ha! And no! They found no. 
Nope. It's like someone thought it was dead clever or dead big. Mm -mm. Oh, a lot of you, it's someone as well that... There's some kind of... There's somewhere connected to either this person or you, whichever way it goes, where there's like... Sheepishness when it comes to your intuition. Or are these people that have given the bad advice, it's because of your intuition or your religious beliefs or something like that, spiritual beliefs. You've mm. Show messages from my collective. I feel like you've pre-warned someone about this, uh, this, this group of people at some point for the majority of you. If you believe, yes, and big happy changes. Oh so something can be rectified is what I'm getting there. For those of you that this is you and you realise that you've made the wrong decision, you've took the wrong turn, you've done something wrong. Even if this is about job setting. If you believe, yes, big happy changes, so you can fix it. Something can be fixed if it's wanted. If you believe positive manifestation. Yeah. In the near future, not the right time, don't stop. So this, maybe this, this wrong choice, this wrong decision, this wrong turn, it was meant to be made. It was meant to be made. And I feel like it was for the sake of these group of people to be outed in some kind of way, as outdated. However that fits, guys. I just hope that's made sense. But this is a little bonus for you babies because I love you all so much. And I will see you all tomorrow for a juicy one. Um, I am going to start doing one day of the week in all signs i'm going to do one day of the week or i don't know what day yet i'm going to plan it properly maybe a tuesday um but i'm going to do it as a weekly thing as a live all signs because i do want other you know zodiac signs on the channel as much as i love my taurus family you know this i don't want it just to be so so tunneled you know so look out for all signs this week and i'm going to start doing them more regular but subscribe if you are new and those of you that are jumping in to see the bonus, I love you all so much. So much, so much, so much. I just hope you know that. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow, angels. Take care.